so AMD got the new CPU coming out, the uh, 5 gigahertz processor. Not bad, AMD. But you see, I have a little problem. This is a little tiny problem, you know. Um, yeah, sure, it's at 5 gigahertz. Okay, but at, at what cost? You know? Look at this. Look at this, right here. Two hundred and twenty watts. Two hundred and twenty watt processor. Two hundred and twenty watts. Okay, compared to a one twenty five watt AM three processor. AM three plus. Excuse me. Um. First of all, I, I think this is still a rumor. I, I don't think they narrow it down as yet. I think it's going to be about 140 watts, around there, maybe 150. Uh, you'll, you'll definitely need some quality boards to push it, you know, or you risk setting the house on fire. Your computer's going to burn up. Your blind will catch on fire, then the house and walls will catch on fire and shit like that. You can burn your house down. It's going to be your fault. So, but it's 5 gigahertz, okay? And you got the uh, 9370 here, which is 4.7 gigahertz. Nothing else changes, ex except, no, no, nothing else in this process has changed, except the clock frequency, apparently, is what it looks like. It's still the pile driver architecture, and the, level, the levels of cache are the same, same video 3 support, turbo cache, all that stuff is unlocked and everything. So that's, that's probably about the only thing that changed, I could say. Uh, maybe a bit more power efficient. Only if it's not 220 watts. That is insane. And at least let the processor go up to 70 Celsius. With that, you should be able to do some overclocking. Uh, and put it up to about 5.6, maybe. I don't want to get you guys too excited. But heat can definitely be an issue. Especially you need adequate, really good cooling. Okay, that's, that's the number one thing. You need good cooling. For this processor, so 220 watts. That's a lot of watts. I am an eco guy, eco friendly guy, so I'm green. I might skip this and just wait for the steam roll, steam roller to come out. Um, but it should be coming out in a few months, if not in September. So, but the the point here is that it's 220 watts and. It's 5 gigahertz overclock. It's a 5 gigahertz. It, it makes me feel like the only thing that's different with this CPU is that they only overclocked it. And that's it. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me. So, but either way, it should still be able to compete against the Intel processor. And if it does come close or wherever, hopefully not too far below, uh, it'll put Intel for a run on its processor. $350 Haswell and $330 or $20 or $300. Bucks uh, the price lower since Haswell came out. Uh, CPU compared to a $200 CPU, given also that this CPU is also 200 bucks, because it is the world's first 5 gigahertz processor. Okay, besides that uh, processor that came out before, I think was IBM released it, 5 gigahertz dual core, I believe. I don't think it was x86. I don't. I don't remember. But this one here is 5 gigahertz, 8 cores, and it's pile driver. So, but 220 watts is a bit, it's really high. And that, that, that is what the choking point is. I've been looking at feedback on the internet, and that is the choking point. Everybody's pointing that out. 220 watts is it's extremely high for a power design, uh, for power design. So, it's extremely high, and I'm concerned about it also. I might skip it if it's true. And wait for the steamroller. So what, 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 what do you guys do? Huh? What would you guys do? Would you guys get it? I'm sure your enthusiasts will get it. People that don't care about uh, making the planet green will get it. Uh, so I guess I'll get it. But leave a comment below though. What do you think? You think a 220 watt is too much? Do you have a board that might be able to handle it? You need a good quality board uh, to handle it. So.
I guess we'll wait and see when it comes out. Will it actually be? I think it's gonna be 140 watts. I think they got this wrong. I think it's gonna be 140 watts. So, if that's the case, then I'll get it definitely. But if it's not, uh, -uh I'm not touching it. So let me know in the comment below. And as always, I'll talk to you later.